Hi, I'm Pastor Lauren, the pastor at Valonia United Methodist Church, and I want to offer a couple of announcements about this coming Sunday, November 1st. We will meet in the parking lot at 10 a.m. on Sunday, November 1st for a time of worship. It is a special day of worship as we celebrate All Saints Day, a high and holy day in the life of the church. We will remember those in our congregation who have gone on to the church triumphant in the last year, but we'll also have a time to remember those in your life that you have lost, whether over the last year or in years before. We trust as we gather together on All Saints Day that God is with us, offering us peace and comfort as we both remember and give thanks for those who have shown us the way it is to be Christ followers and to live as disciples. We'll also celebrate Holy Communion together as we remember that we are part of the communion of saints and that Christ invites us to be at the table together. Another part of our time together in worship this Sunday will center around a prayer over our commitment cards. Over the last two weeks, we've had a worship series around stewardship called Hope and a Future, where we remember that God offers us both hope in times that we are going through now, but also in the days to come. And we trust that God has plans for our future as a congregation. What an appropriate day to pray over commitment cards and make commitments or turn in estimate of giving cards than on All Saints Day, where we celebrate the legacy of so many who have gone before us, who have believed in this church and its ability to make disciples and proclaim the good news. And we get to continue on that legacy by making commitments as a congregation to give in 2021. If you have questions about giving, about the budget, please do not hesitate to contact me. I would be happy to have a conversation with you or your family about giving to Valonia United Methodist Church. If you have questions about how to give, whether that is online or through bill pay or via check, we would love to help you get that sorted out as well. You did should have received a letter in the mail and via email and even in worship on the first Sunday of our stewardship series that outlines um, some of our plans for the coming year, as well as ways you can give. And finally, it does have this commitment card at the bottom. So I want to invite you to fill that out, to bring it with you Sunday, or put it in the mail before Sunday so that we can celebrate these commitments that you are making in 2021. I know that we don't know what next year will hold, but no matter what, we trust that God will lead us just as God led those who came before us. So it will be a great Sunday of worship. I do want to remind you that it is daylight saving time on Sunday. So that means we will fall back an hour. It means you get an extra hour of sleep, but it also means that um, you need to be aware of what time it is when you wake up and to remember that worship will be at 10 a.m. in the parking lot. In regards to parking lot worship, I want to let you know this is our last Sunday to do parking lot worship. I know it has been a beautiful expression of our faith through worship in the past few months as we started at the end of August and have gotten to be together in our cars or in the parking lot or online. Everyone has gotten to worship in ways that feel most comfortable and safe to them. We have gotten to see your faces if you're coming in person and we have so enjoyed that as church staff and volunteers. As I said, this will be the last Sunday for parking lot worship. It is getting chilly, and while we do desire to be together, we also know that weather plays a part in that, and that as we continue on into winter, the weather will make it so that it's impossible for us to worship weekly outdoors. We will have more information in the coming days about what our plans are for worship in the next few weeks, so please be on the lookout for that information. I'll also give you an update on Sunday morning. We can't wait to see you this Sunday. We hope that you will join us, whether online or in person. It is truly a special day for us to get to gather together as we offer comfort to those who are grieving, as we celebrate people who have impacted our faith lives, and as we trust that no matter where we're worshiping, God is with us. See you Sunday.